Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 10th through the 16th of March, 2024. I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to take a second here to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with every Taurus out there. Guys, if you find yourself in that boat, please check your other signs and placements, see if those readings may resonate a little bit better. Also keep in mind in this reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that is not unusual in a general reading. As always, Taurus, don't force yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Taurus? Taurus. Taurus, you are starting out with the Five of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Cups. All right, a little bit of tough energy here. I'm seeing the energy of someone being left out in the cold. So either you've walked away from somebody and left them out in the cold or you're feeling that way. Um, I do see it's a sense of uh, abandonment, a sense of rejection. There seems to be a an emotional discontent, so I feel like this is your energy. I also see that you are looking at, at uh, ways of overcoming this. There's a lot of confusion about, you know, why this is happening, how this is happening, and I do see that you, you do have options, but I don't know if you you're aware of those options at this time. Some of you might be seeking the counsel of a older uh, female, somebody who um, is going to guide you with regard, somebody you trust, somebody that you feel comfortable guiding you um, through this period of confusion. Let's see who's in your energy, Taurus. All right, so the person in your energy has the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Two of Pentacles reversed and the King of Wands. All right, so the person that's in your energy, um, there's things that they're not telling you. They do have a lack of clarity themselves with regard to the situation and they're feeling very unbalanced right now. Um, it's almost like this person feels that something has happened that has totally upset their their balance. They could be juggling money. They could be having difficulty with finances. Um, and they may not be telling you about all of this either. I am seeing that this person um, could be a business owner or they could be an entrepreneur. They are in a position of authority, a position of leadership. People listen to what they have to say. Um, this is a attractive person. This is somebody that, you know, is used to receiving attention. And I do feel like this person um, knows this. It, I, I'm not saying they're arrogant because I'm not seeing the King of Wands in the reverse. So, but they're aware. They're aware that, you know, people do tend to hang on their words. They That people do tend to listen to them. Um, let's see the energy between the two of you. Mm -mm. Seven of Swords reversed. Ouch. Yeah, so there's been some kind of deception here. Lying, cheating, stealing, something. Whatever it is was revealed. And I, I feel like it was the person that's in your energy here. I'm not seeing that in your energy. However, they're concealing things. They're not telling you everything. They're deliberately keeping things from you here. Um, I feel like whatever this is, though, has come out into the open. Let's see what is affecting this connection. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, neither of you have really gotten what you want here in this, in this situation. There's a sense of um, discontentment. Wishes and desires being, you know, taken and, and just thrown to the wind. It's, um, yeah, that's what's affecting. Let's see what's, show me the outcome at the end of the week. The lovers in reverse. 
Yeah, it's a strong connection. However, I do feel like there's some sort of an ending that's happening here. All right, so bottom of the deck is the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, if you notice in the background is like this tornado energy, all right? So there's been some sort of a huge um, occurrence that's happened. It has to do with this this uh, deception that came out. I feel like you're being very strong right now, Taurus. I feel like you are working on yourself. I feel like you are, you know, manifesting what it is that you do want. But there's a sense of wanting to move away from this calamity, move away from the difficulties. So let's clarify. Spirit wise, the five of pentacles here for Taurus. Hmm. And there we have that, that seven of swords in the reverse again. Queen of wands reverse. King of swords. And the Eight of Swords reversed. All right, so, wow. So the deception has come out. The deception is it directly what led to you feeling rejected, feeling abandoned by this person. I, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I am seeing that... I am seeing that it did involve, it looks like another person. Queen of Wands can be a third party. I do see that the deception has to do with this person telling you that, that something was over with someone else. So I don't know if it was a third party or if this was, you know, a previous relationship. But I am seeing that this person told you that things were over with that, and it, it looks like that's not truthful. That's that's a lie. I am seeing that you're getting very honest with yourself about this situation, and you're trying to free yourself from all this deception, because I feel like this has caused so much worry, so much concern in your life. You you have felt tied up and unable to, to know what direction to go in, and at this point, you just want to free yourself from the deception, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? Let's try that again. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? All right, the Moon in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Eight of Coins reverse. Yeah, you're not going to put any work into this. You feel like this, you're so disappointed. There's a lot of disappointment here. As these secrets came out, as things were being revealed to you about this person's deception, you began to feel that there was no way that this connection was going to grow. It was no way it was going to prosper. You may have even questioned yourself. Um, it may have made you wonder. Um, and, and Taurus, honestly, you can't put that on yourself. It's for some of you, you've actually questioned your self worth, your value. Um, and I do feel like you're done with that energy. That's what you're being strong about. You're overcoming that. You're not putting any work into this. You're unhappy with the situation. And it, it's solely because of the deception that has been coming out. Um, you feel that this relationship is not growing. It's not going to move forward in a positive manner. And it's almost like this person has drained your energy as well. Yeah, walking away. Eight of Cups. Walking away from stuck energy. Knight of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles. Taking your power back. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're che you may be checking to see, is this person, you know, messing around on you? Are they, do they have a new beginning elsewhere? I see this energy of, of you know, some spying, low-key spying. Um, it's an energy of being in a relationship with somebody, knowing that there's something going on, finding out, you know, that this person has been lying, that they've been cheating, and deciding that you're walking away from all this stuck energy. 
I do feel like it's been very confusing. This person may have deliberately tried to confuse you as well. There's, there's an energy here of checking to see, is this person taking their wand in other directions? Um, and it looks like you found something out. You, you may have found something out regarding that. I do see you taking your power back. I also feel like I told you, uh, for some of you, you have a strong female who is guiding you, who is, you know, giving you um, guidance in how to move, how to, how to get unstuck from this energy. Um, and you do have options. As you take your power back, you're realizing that you do have options here. And it's helping you to come into your own power. Let's look at this person's energy. Why is the Ace of Swords here in reverse? It looks like, Taurus, this person deliberately tried to deceive. Yeah, the Magician and the Five of Cups. So they're not in a good place. Um, they're looking at everything that has happened here. Um, I can tell you now that they're they're trying to do a review. They're pulled back in their energy, but they're also manifesting here. So let's see what they're manifesting. Why is this magician here? Yeah, they're manifesting an end to the problems. They're trying to figure out um, how to end the problems, how to, and they, they're confused. This person is absolutely confused. They may even be low-key depressed. Um, what they're manifesting, though, is an end to the problems. Let's see why the Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, again, Ace of Swords reversed. They're very confused and they're not they're not being truthful. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is lying about a reconciliation. So they may have there may have been somebody else involved here. They told you that this person was no longer involved, but the truth is is that this was false. This was a lie. This person, um, they don't know what direction to go. It's like they've been weighing up the pros and cons. They don't know what to do. They just want to end all the problems, but they're very confused. They do have regrets on how they have handled this, but they're still not being truthful. They're still lying, and that lie has to do with recon a reconciliation here. It almost looks like this other person came back into their life and like they were just starting to get the balance. The two of you may have been trying to work things out and a third party came back into the connection in some manner or they brought that third party back in and now everything is up in the air again. So let's see why the King of Wands is here. This person may be having financial trouble and they're not being truthful about that. They're not telling you. We have judgment. We have the three of wands. And we have the three of swords reversed. So this person is healing. They, they feel like they've been very hurt as well. So this person is healing. They're waiting for healing to come in and a reconciliation to take place. It just looks like that reconciliation that they're waiting for has to do with a third party. And this is why you're you're upset. Like they weren't honest with you and now you, you've realized the truth. The truth has come out. You've realized that this person's not being honest. They're not being truthful. And I can see that they're waiting. They're waiting to heal and reconcile. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Four of Wands. You may be married to this person or in a committed relationship. And you're freeing yourself from that. Seven of Cups reversed. So, this person is, they're manifesting clarity is what they're doing. They don't know what to do. So, what they're manifesting is an end to the problems. This person is trying to escape from the problems, but it looks like they they caused the problems. 
Um, and they're having to go back and look at everything that has taken place. They're manifesting an, an end to the confusion, an end to the problems. But I feel like you're freeing yourself from this connection because you don't feel that this person has been up front. And now the truth has come out. And I do feel like you're, you're not having anything to do with them. You're definitely not putting work into this. Um, let's see what the Nine of Cups is here. And they know it. They know that you're, you're, you know, not going to, that you're freeing yourself, that you're not moving towards them or putting work into it. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, yep. So what's affecting the connection is that there's a there was a sudden change. And that sudden change had to do with you finding out that this person was not being legit with you. They weren't being upfront with you. I feel like you let them know that. I feel like you let them know, hey, I found out what your secrets are. I found out what, what you were doing. And I'm done with this. I'm not putting work into this. I, I, I missed some details in the past, and that's not going to happen again. This person in your energy... They're making plans here. So neither of you are happy with, with all of this coming out. This is it's almost like you're going through a tower moment as I speak as you speak or as I speak. Um, this person is choosing to move in an in a new direction. But they're not telling you the truth about that. They're choosing to go in a new direction. They're making plans for a reconciliation, but they're not being honest, they're not being truthful. Um, let's see the outcome, but I feel like you're, you already know, you're like, you're like, you know, don't, don't give me any more of that energy because I already know what you're doing. Yeah, conflict. And you're the one bringing the conflict because of something you discovered about this person. Five of swords, five of wands, two of cups. There's competition here. This person has brought competition in. They, It's like they tried a reconciliation with you, but they weren't being honest. They weren't being honest about their feelings. Part of that is because they were legitimately confused, um, but it's beyond that. It, it's, it's a deliberate concealing of information from you, and it's costing them. It's costing them heavily. Because you don't want to put work into this. you. Some of you may be physically traveling. You might be moving um, or physically traveling in order to take a break from this person. Because you're not happy with the, the way they've behaved whatsoever. And you are telling them, look, this is not growing. And, and I know why. It's something you have discovered. You, you, you found out. It's like you went looking and you found it. Now, I do see that you're you're planning to let this person have it. You don't care about the outcome. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you're sick and tired of being stuck. So, I do see you in a very confrontational energy. I see you not caring if it costs, causes this person concern. Um, there is going to be a conflict preceding this ending. And the person that's in your energy, it's like they're waiting to heal a connection that they feel is a soulmate connection. Yeah, it, but the, the deception is so heavy. And I can understand why you would feel very upset, very, very upset with this person. I mean, why didn't they just tell you the truth and and just, you know, everybody move in an appropriate direction it doesn't make sense. And the only thing I can say is that it's because this person is very confused. They're also experiencing some financial difficulties. So that could be part of the problem as well. All right. Bottom of the deck is temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. I see Gemini here as well. Um, Leo is here. But with temperance, this is, you know, you're being guided, Taurus, and I do feel like you are healing. You're finding your balance. You're being very strong throughout this situation, and I commend you on that. Um, let's pull some oracle cards and see what comes out. All right, we have forgiveness. Trusting yourself is often harder than trusting others. 
Don't worry if you get this wrong. The consequences will not be as bad as you think. And then we have achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. I'll, although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. So there, be careful with that. You could have somebody in your energy that, um, or in your family that may be experiencing some, some uh, difficulties health-wise. And then we have reflection. Now, this, that's in this person's energy. It says, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Yeah, this person is in deep reflection. Um, I can see that there is a... You're, you're experiencing achievements in your life other than this connection. So, don't let this overcome your life, Taurus. Um, you know, it's being able to forgive and move forward. And I'm going to tell you, there's a, a lot you need to forgive here because this person just has not been on the up and up with you. And it doesn't look like they are even now. So, all right. I hope that this has been helpful. It's a bit of a tough reading. Um, I might need to put a, a warning on it, but uh, if it has provided you with some insight and some ability to help you move a little bit, more efficiently here. Just just protect yourself, Taurus, because I don't like this person's energy. But I hope it's been helpful. And if you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel until I see you guys in your next reading. Namaste.